operation is the part of the organization which is concerned with the transformation of the change. Uh, already you have some raw materials, that is what you call input. Then you are mm. going to change into the expected Services. product, that is output. Mm. So output. let's say if you want to make a cloth, you need wool and then wool become into mm. cloths, right? So to make yes. the wool, you have to have some process. That is what you call uh, operational process. If you need a shirt, you have the clothes and you need a shirt, right? You are making mm. the clothes into a shirt. So cloth is input, shirt is output. The process is, you know, the operational process of making the cloth, making the shirt. It's a tailoring mm. process. Okay. Yes. Uh, that is what we call operations. So in the operation, what we can see, three things. What are they? Input, process, outputs. Output. Input, process, mm. output. Yeah. Now the input, management. process, uh, Input, process, output. Example, you know what is example? Yes, you've given me the example. If you need a shirt, yeah, you have to have the cloth, yeah. and then the tailor will bring it for you the shirt. Hmm. Okay. Management, you know already, yeah. Yes, sir. What is management? Management is the process which combines and transforms various resources using the operation subsystems <laughs> <laughs> of the organization into the value added service and in a controlled manner as by the policies of the organization. Yeah, management is what? Resource allocation. Management mm -hmm. is what? Resource management. You have to plan the resource Mm. Then you allocate the resource. Then you have to control the resource. Mm. You understand? So mm. that is how you are going to manage it. Basically planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. You are going mm. to do this. We already discussed this, no management and leadership. Earlier. We did. Yeah. In the operation management, now you are going to allocate the resource, plan the resource, then allocate the resource and mm. organize the resource and then mm. you are going to lead how to produce it and finally you have to control the resource you have to make sure based on the resource how much you want to produce that much you have to produce that management is the operation management mm. we did it with uh, management example, and example uh, if you want to make uh, a certain number of uh, shirt in a certain length of clothes. You have to make sure that you are making that certain number of clothes from the certain length of the clothes. Let's say, if you are going mm. to make a five yards clothes, yeah, five meters clothes, if mm. you want to make three shirts, you have to make three shirts. You can't make two, uh, two shirts. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So that, that is what we call the management is done. So if you do that but way, can, can we say that management. management is defined yeah. as planning, organ, organizing, commanding, coordinating? Yeah, and leading. And controlling. Controlling. Yeah, planning and controlling is the most essential thing in the management. So you have mm -hmm. to plan how many you want to make a shirt? Three shirts. Mm -hmm. In how many? Five, five meter clothes. So mm -hmm. that is the plan. So you have to make sure that you make five. Uh, three shirts in five meters. Mm. You understand? Yes. Yeah. If you don't make three shirts, then it is a problem because you are wasted. You already wasted the resource. Mm -hmm. So in the operations, we are going to see this. Uh, are we making the certain number of outputs we are expecting mm. according to our input? So the process should be controlled. You are going to control the process so that you make the avoid numbers. This from, uh, to yeah. avoid us from wasting the resources. Wasting the resources. You are right. Okay? Yes. 
this is what we call operations management. Easy. Right, operation management has been recognized as an important factor in their country's economic growth. Yeah, the traditional view of manufacturing management is concept of production management. Generally, we can say product, product operation management is a production management. Yeah, but mm. service also operation. You have to understand this. But now the operation management was mostly the service sector operations. Almost all the operations are now service sector operations. Okay, you can see this. So in the operation management, you have to make sure that you have to utilize the resources in order to achieve what you wanted to achieve based on the goal. Okay, so there are mm. two areas. One is resource usages and the goal achievement. If you use the resources and the achievement, yeah, goal achievement. Mm. Uh, you can use in in a two way. One efficiently and inefficiently. You can use the resources. Goal you can achieve the goal effectively or ineffectively. Mm. Right? Resources yes. are efficiently or inefficiently. Goals are effectively or ineffectively. Effectiveness is connected with the long term goals. Yeah. Efficiency yes. is connected with the resources. Right. If you take the resources, yeah, let's say uh, ineffectiveness and inefficiency in your operations, your resources are not used in an effect, not in an effective manner, or it is not connected with the number of the shirt that we wanted. No, the then the goal is not achieved. So yeah, if yeah, the yeah. goal is not achieved and the resources are not utilized properly then it is a waste. Yeah. Waste operation. Okay? Yes. If the efficiency is there, but and the ineffectiveness is there, mm. so what you have to do, you are not wasting the resource, but mm. you are not reaching the goal. The goal. You are not wasting the, because you have already taken the maximum utilization of resources. Okay. That's not yes. wasting the resource, but you didn't In achieve what you wanted to achieve. Yeah. The other one is you already uh, reaching the goal, but wasting the resource mm. because in inefficiency. Reaching goals and wasting resources. Wasting resources. This is another situation. The very good situation. What is that? You have to reach the goal. Effectively and you have to and not wasting the resources, the resources. that is efficiently. So mm. your production should be what efficiently and effectively handled. Yes. Uh, what do you mean by like that? Efficiently and effectively mean what? Efficient means not wasting the resources. Not wasting the resource. Effective means reaching the goal. Reaching the goal. So these two things should be considered in your operation. Mm. Okay. Yes. So as an operation manager, you have to focus on these two things. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. So what are operations? Operations, the aspect of business operations uh, responsible for producing goods and services, the functions or the system that transforms in input into output, that is operation. We already discussed this. Hmm. So in the operation management, there will be products, there will be process, there will be services and supply chain. So these are the area we are going to discuss. Hmm. What is operations management? The business function responsible for planning and coordinating controlling resources to need it, uh, product, produce products and services for the company. We discussed this one, right? It's the same as management. Yeah, it's the same like management, but you are doing what? We are planning, coordinating. Oh, uh, in order to make your, uh, produce the product and services. Now you are putting that one. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yes. So it is a science and art of the ensuring goods and services. It's a science and art. Mm. Okay. So this yes. is the one you have to remember under operation management. Mm -hmm.
what is that input process and output mm. okay. so what i've realized the main key in management operation management is effectiveness and efficiency effectiveness efficiency efficiency yeah mm. okay so input is connected with what the land the resources are input mm. land mm. people capital the money yeah we already discussed the five m's what are the m's man money man money machine method, method, method material method these are the inputs then you can uh, make these resources into output that is goods mm. or services okay in order to make that goods or services you can do some some process that process are called transformational process okay mm. so when you do transformational process you have to do some controlling if you don't do controlling then you will waste your resources resources mm. and also you can't expect what you wanted to expect that it means your mm. output will be reduced Mm. you can't get what you had, what you wanted so that's why you have to do some controlling in the process okay it's mm. that clear and yes. also you need some feedback also you have to go and see whether the output is expected output or not expected mm. output mm. so you are going to measure and then you are going to going to get the feedback and then mm. do again the controlling mm. Okay. Yes. So that's uh, the area you have to understand. So you, let's say if you take a hospital, it's a practical example. Mm -hmm. So inputs are doctors, nurses, yeah, and the mm -hmm. medical supply, equipment, laboratories. These are the input. Mm -hmm. What is the output? Treated patients. Treated the patients, patients are treated. Mm -hmm. These are the output. So what is the process? The, when the when the person when the patients are coming at the time you are do you are going to do some tests yes, some mm. examination yeah some medication some theories uh, some therapies yeah mm. some kind of mm. monitoring and yeah you are going to do that mm. it's a process let's say if if a person is coming with a fever so but you what you have to do you have to do some tests mm. and then finally yeah you are going to treat the patient so that is what mm. treated patients out mm. so why you want treated pay you want people are treated uh, for the disease that is mm. output to make that happen you need some input these are doctors and nurses medical equipments and yeah, then laboratories and all mm. okay yes. the process is examinations and medications these kind of things surgery and all yeah yes is that clear now so this Very is what, clear. Yeah, this is what we call operation so if we take uh, in the bank you will see the operations finance marketing these are the general you know, or an organization you can see these people yeah, functions what are the functions we have operation functions finance functions marketing functions yeah mm. in the operation function you will have the facilities a production quality supply manufacturing designing industrial engineering and process analysis you will have so finance and accounting we will discuss, discuss uh, later that is mm. about uh, fund management capital management yeah mm. account management you are going to do that and marketing we already discussed already the sales and promotions advertisement mm. the four piece of or seven piece of marketing marketing mix we discussed that okay Good. right in the if you take the goods and service operations nowadays the currently uh, the operations are mostly focused on goods not goods services can you see automobile yes. assembly uh, steel and home remodeling computer repairing so sing song writing software development some are 50 50 but if you go for surgery teaching uh, these are totally service yeah mm -hmm. some are totally goods yeah some are totally service the car is totally 
motor mobile is good but teaching and health services totally service mm. yeah some computer repairing and restaurant restaurant let's say later on both you have goods on also services mm -mm. yeah some products we have the goods and services some are only service some are only goods yeah do you understand yes i understand and manufacturing and service organization differ clearly because manufacturing is good oriented and service is action oriented yeah manufacturing yes. goods oriented Man, uh, as a result of the manufacturing you will have goods mm. as a result of the service oriented you will have some actions people yeah you are going to have some actions right yes the production of the goods and uh, versus the delivery of the services you can see the production of the goods tangible output product are tangible what about the services not tangible not tangible intangible you can't you can't touch it yeah not intangible tangible. intangible yeah that's why mm -hmm. the service categories are coming under government yeah then sometimes the wholesale and retailer financial services health services personal services business services education services these are the service categories mm. okay yes these are actions right in the operation management you should have some kind of idea that customer contact uniformity input labor content uh, measurement of the productivity production and delivery quality assurance amount of the inventory evaluation of the work and ability to patent design so these are the area you have to remember yeah when you make something we will study one by one mm -hmm. and also if we take some goods and services uh, if we take the customer contact in the goods or services will be high customer contact service area will be high customer coming and contacting directly customer you can see directly customers mm. in the goods or services services it's services, services service. will be high yeah mm. yes. because if you want to if you want to buy a car uh, you what you will do you are not going to go to factory and buy no no you are not going to see how the cars are made you are not going to look at how they are making the car no. right but the service no. service you will see how mm. are they making yeah because you will be more careful with that yeah yes you will observe that and uniformity of the input uh, in the service is low uh, input is more in goods right input is more goods mm. to make a goods you need more input right yes yeah for example if i want to teach i don't want too many things i need a laptop a table and chair that's it <laughs> and a small internet connection that's it then yes. i can sit anywhere and then do that because it's service no need yes. too many inputs but if you are going to make a uh, production let's say you laptop you need yeah we need so many inputs right yes that's why the goods are uh, in the good side input is high but service side input is low and the labor content where the labors will be needed, needed more in the goods or services or the services services because people we are dealing with people there will be a people more people so we have to handle more if it is more mm. people coming then you have to be we have to put more people to handle those people but and the goods you can put some robots also right Mm. Yeah. Uh, uniformity of output if you take the uniformity of output the service uh, will be low but goods will be more because you are going to bring more goods yeah mm. Mm. measurement of the productivity which one is easy where can you measure the productivity the for the goods. goods or services goods. for the goods you can see because it's tangible so you can easy to measure Mm. but the services cannot it's very hard yeah mm. productivity is connected with efficiency and effectiveness it's it's not easy 
the wasted services how do you know understand it's not it's not easy to uh, measure right it is a difficult yeah. one yeah. and opportunity to correct problems if there is a problem sometime uh, you have to see uh, in the goods and services which uh, which uh, which place you can do come some correction the service good. area is low but the goods you can goods see high. from the you can tangible things you know you can see that mm -hmm. inventory you need much inventory for making goods but for the services less inventory evaluations uh, when you do evaluations evaluate evaluate that goods easy to evaluate but service it's it's not easy yeah patentable it's a uh, rights uh, yeah you just for goods you can usually have for services you can't have patent rights yeah what is the meaning of patentable patent rights mean the whole the sole right you know the uh, you claim that is your one ah mm. like mcdonald's m is m for mm. mcdonald's mm -hmm. yeah? so no one can put that m and do business so ah that, okay yeah patent rights so that is belong to you if you make something uh, no one can copy like that mm, yeah? yes. you can't duplicate it yeah yes so if you take the challenges in the service there are certain challenges we have to manage it the service jobs in the services are often less structured than manufacturing right mm. service operations are less structured but manufacturing operations are very structured mm. there will be a certain layout a certain setup and there is a certain process yeah mm. systematically yeah. you will do and customer contact is generally much higher this is already i discussed now already the same one you have to read uh, just discuss now yeah we already discussed and uh, if we go to uh, america uh, like uh, if we go and see the productions and operation services in america in 1940 to 2005 the service is increasing and manufacturing is reducing you understand which is good yeah the service area nowadays the trend is what service business it's easy to do but operation mm. uh, business you know production business it's very hard because we need lots of uh, resources allocation management and lots of inputs yeah lots of inputs and more too much care and all mm. yeah now we need resources and all yeah okay the service yes. business is easy business nowadays they are focusing on and uh, in this uh, zoom meeting uh, i'm using mm -hmm. my use uh, zoom what you call link so it will be uh, uh, disconnected by every 40 minutes okay so now okay. it's uh, we have already 10 30 minutes gone we have 10 minutes more after 10 minutes automatically it will be connected disconnected then you can rejoin okay okay okay, okay. it's an information now we have 10 minutes more then it will automatically disconnect then okay. you can rejoin again okay right so operations is one of the functions like finance marketing okay is that clear we have discussed hmm. so why need why we need operation management operation management is an integrative body of the knowledge uh, whose skills are needed in industries uh, a diverse a healthcare education telecommunication hospitality food services banking and consulting and manufacturing so these are the situations operation is one of the three major functions we discussed that to know how goods and services are produced it means we have to understand the operation manager okay to understand mm -hmm. what operation manager what yeah mm -hmm. you have to understand that one also okay scope of the operation management so if you take the uh, operation management then you will see some related activities there are certain activities in the operation management the one is uh, forecasting so what how many you need that is forecasting and then you have to do according to the need you have to do some planning that is what we call capacity planning 
let's say if you want to make a, a, a what do you call shirt uh, mm -hmm. you want uh, you want to have 500 shirt let's say so that is the forecasting we need 500 shirt for next month mm -hmm. the capacity planning to make 500 shirt you need to have you need to have a capacity of the machineries tailoring mm -hmm. and the tailors yeah yes so capacity you should have and also you have to do scheduling what time the people are going to work yeah how Between, long they're going to work uh, until until what time you can make that certain quantity so mm. you have to finish it until the certain uh, time within the time frame you have to finish it and mm. managing inventories this is also an important activity in the operation manager you have to manage your inventories so if you are going to make a shirt what are the inventories you need yeah, like machineries you need and mm. Uh, what else you need? The threads. Yeah, the clothes. Yeah. The cloth, the threads. Yeah, threads, buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Colors and all, strips and all. Okay, clear. Yes. So these are the one you have to understand and manage inventory and assuring the quality. The shirt should be a shirt. Mm. Yeah, according to the standard. The material yes. wise, the size wise, yeah, and the neatness, how it is made. Mm. Yeah, it should be neat. And also the quality, yeah, quality wise, it should be good. And motivating employees. So the activity is taken by the operations, then it will motivate others to do. And deciding where to locate the facilities, you have to think about. Yeah, this is, these are the areas you have to think under uh, operations management. So uh, you can do some product designing and development in the operation mm -hmm. management. You can do the sales forecasting. After that, facility planning and plant locations. So if you want to make, a, as I said, a hundred shirts, you should make mm -hmm. your plant accordingly. Mm -hmm. How many uh, machines, yeah, showing sewing machines you need, and also how many tailors you need. So, what is the uh, location and the capacity? Everything you have to plan. Okay, mm -hmm. facility yes. planning and yes. facility layout. So you know already what is layout and the mm -hmm. production planning. So mm -hmm. you have to think about that production and also scheduling. You have to think about the scheduling. And Finance. production control and quality control mm -hmm. and material mm -hmm. management. So the supply chain management, yeah, supply, the material management, and also the mm -hmm. product models, uh, production models are there. There are certain way we have to produce. So these are the area you have to understand under project operation management or the operation management. The operation management. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So any question until now? No, for now, no, no, no. Okay, you understood? Yes. I'm seeing what my operation managers are doing at work. Yeah, now you can see what he's doing, yeah? Yeah. yeah good. Operation management is the business function responsible for planning and coordinating. You know already this one. Okay. And the operation okay. management is systematic direction and controlling. So this is also, you know, refers to the management of the production system the transform input into output the production system operation managers production system the way the firm or organization acquires input then converts into output that is production system operation managers are the responsible people for transforming the process of input to output yeah mm. yeah who is the operation manager is the one responsible for uh, the, the transformational process transformation of input process to from yeah, input to output. Yeah. In the transformational process, he will put his head. He has to mm. make sure uh, the output also and also the input. So mm. in the resource management, mostly he is going to do. Any question up to now? No. It's clear. Yeah, it's clear. So in three, two minutes, you will be disconnected. You can join. Okay. 
ரோல் ஆஃப் ஆப்ரேஷன் மேனேஜர் ஆப்ரேஷன் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் டிரெக்ட்லி ரிலேட்டட் டு ப்ரொடியூசிங் குட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சர்வீசஸ் த ப்ரைமரி ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஆப்ரேஷன் மேனேஜர் இஸ் டு கைட் தி சிஸ்டம் பை டிசிஷன் மேக்கிங் so operation manager should take some decision what kind of decision he is going to take one is system design decision and operation system operation decision what are they system design decision and system and operation system decision yeah this is what operation manager is going to do system design capacity facility layout uh product and services planning acquisition plan and the placement of the equipment everything these are typically strategic decision that acquire long term commitment of the resources and determine the parameters of the system operation so you have to understand what is system designing is that clear system hmm. design decision system operation decisions are connected with the personal management employee management yeah inventory hmm. management schedule management project management and quality assurance hmm. operation managers spend more time on system operations decision rather than any other decision area okay hmm. so operation managers always uh, spending more time on system operations what do you know about system operation you know already yeah management of personal personal management yeah schedule project management quality yeah. assurance they still have the vital stake in the system design the key decisions of the operation managers uh now we can reconnect and then discuss this okay so key decisions of operation managers he has to think what resources needed when these resources to be needed when these resources needed where we can uh, make these resources into an output yeah hmm. how to make them and who will do that so these questions the operation manager is going to ask and take a decision accordingly to make a shirt what are the uh, clothes he need how many uh, meters of clothes he needs yeah mm. and when you need and where you are going to make it how are you going to make it who will make it do you understand mm. now is that clear yes. these yes. decisions a manager uh, operation manager will take so if there is a people shortage so then he has to think about uh, how to bring that people to the system mm. if there is a material shortage he has to think about how can we bring that materials yeah if mm. there is a problem in the process he has to think about how to make it easy and simplify the process of making so he has to take a decision in this kind of operational process mm. Mm. by asking certain wh questions okay what when where how who yeah correct activities of operation departments convert available capital into physical resources yeah so mm. capital money into a physical resource and also the convert the physical resources into a saleable goods and services so mm. the resources to be a goods and services these mm. are the general two activities in the operation department you can see you have money then you buy the resources then you buy convert the resources into product or services okay clear that's okay yeah if you take the activities of the operation management you can see there are some additional activities also there production of goods at the right time a sufficient quantity to meet the demand so how many shirts you need that amount of shirts you have to make so within the time frame in maybe in one week if you need 
uh, 500 shirts, you have to make that 500 shirt in one week. Okay, mm -hmm. that is yes. the demand. And the production of the goods at the minimum cost. When you make it, uh, the shirts should be the quality wise good, accepted quality wise is there. At the same time, you have to think about the cost. It should be mm. minimum cost. So that's why the operation manager is always focusing on cost. Mm. The cost should be the minimum cost uh, and also the waste should be minimum and the mm. quality should be acceptable. Acceptable quality. Okay, clear? Yes, please. Yeah, operation management concepts, the quality, efficiency and the responsiveness to customers. These are the three concepts you have to keep in mind when you do operations. Quality, mm -hmm. your, the operation should be uh, quality-wise good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. so because if you, if you don't uh, focus on the quality, you can't bring the product or services not up to the satisfaction of the customers. Mm -hmm. then the customer will be complaining. And also, you have to think about the efficiency. What is efficiency? We already talked about. Uh, it is connected with the resource. Yeah. Efficiency connected with the resources. Yeah. No, no need of wasting resources. Yeah. Amount of the input produced to give an output. That is efficiency. And mm -hmm. uh, responsiveness to customers also taken into a response. How are you going to respond to the customer? That is also important. Mm. So these are the concepts, quality concept, efficiency concept, and uh, responsiveness to customer. Also another important concept. Okay, production management is a process of planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. We discussed all now. An object mm. of operation management is right quality is important. Right quantity you have to uh, bring somehow. Okay. The right quality. And the right quantity. Right quantity. So right quality is the shirt is should be right quality. And the right quantity is how many you should you can we want to sell. Mm. That is the number. Yeah, number. And the quantity number and predetermined time. So you know already within how many hours, how many days, how many mm. weeks, how many months you are going to make it. Mm. So predetermined that is the time. Scheduling, right? And also, yeah. And the pre-established cost. Mm. Manufacturing costs. Manufacturing costs. So mm. these are the objectives of uh, operations management. Mm. Any questions here? No. Is that understood? So yes. what is the objectives of operation management? The right quality. Mm. The right it, quantity. Yeah. The yeah. number of maybe the shirts, the exact number of shirts. Yeah. And then pre, pre, pre determined time. time, they scheduled how how long this will be made, how many days, the timing. Correct. Then the manufacturing costs, pre-established costs. Any question here? No. No. Yeah. Let's continue. So the right quality. Uh, can you read it? Yes. I start from the right quality. Yeah. The right quality. The quality of the product is established. I'm going to, because the, my, your screen is covering a little bit. The quality of the product is established based upon the customer's need. The yeah, right quality. That is quality. Mm. If you can deliver according to the customer need, it is quality. I need something and you are giving something else. It means it's not quality. Yes. Okay. That is right quality. Mm. So it is not necessary to be best quality, but it should be according to the customer requirement. If you give that is a quality, yeah. Mm. 
and the quantity manufacturing the organization should produce the produce the products, products in the right in number right number how many mm. you need sir that be that shirt should be produced okay mm. if yes. we produce more what will happen it will be waste it, it will be, be waste, waste. Mm. yeah you have to throw it yeah yeah if you produce less what will happen customer will not customer come back. is not satisfied yeah. they will not come back mm. Okay. Any questions? No. No. Right quantity. Okay. And the right time you have to make them at the right time always. Timeliness of delivery is one of the important parameter to judge the effectiveness and production department. Yeah. For example, customers asking the shirts uh, for mm. the festival, right? Mm. Before the festival, they need. But you are giving the shirts after the festival. Do you think it's good? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because what is he going to use the shirts for? Yeah, that festival? is what they call right time. Do you understand? Yeah. You have to give yeah. the shirt at the right time. Hmm. Sometimes they don't take. If you give after the time, they don't take. Hmm. So the production department has to make uh, make the optimum utilization of utilization of input resources. To achieve the objectives that is very important and also there will be a cost connected with the manufacturing right cost mm -hmm. i see this timing also in the hospital because we have some timings in the morning that the staff have to go in the patient rooms mm -hmm. so exactly eight o'clock the staff have to check the patient room so if the mm -hmm. staff go nine o'clock the patients will complain Mm. Okay, understood. Yes, yes. So in the operation management, you can see some key elements. Kaizen, optimization, quality, efficiency, and responsiveness to customers. Mm. Right? Yes. These are the 10 critical areas connected with the critical decisions in the operation management. One is design of the good and, goods and services. Yeah, you have to design what kind of shirt you need. I'm putting mm. always shirt, shirt, shirt. So it, it, it's easy, you know? Yes. Yeah. And managing the quality. That is also another focus. Uh, designing and you know, if you, if you are going to go for a decision process, then you are going to manage the quality, then you have to go for the process and capacity designing. So how many you need, then the quality of the, the quality of the shirt and process and capacity design. So do you have the mm. enough, uh, what do you call machines and the people? Yeah. Mm. And you have to put some location. So where you want to uh, put that to your factory and la layout strategy. So I will uh, discuss this layout. Uh, not in here. I can't discuss. It's a total layout. So I will put some uh, basic ideas for the layout. You have to understand layout. So let's say uh, in the production, uh, which uh, which area the product should come and which area which the product should go out. One side raw material will come, the other side finished product will go, right? So you have to set that. The location where you want to set your uh, factory. And layout strategy, uh, as I said, where you have to put your first and then where, where you are going to put the process things, where you going to, where you, where you want to connect that input and how, what about the output? The human resources, you have to ma manage the human resources and also design, job design and supply chain management, inventory uh, kind of uh, things and scheduling and maintenance. These are the area you have to focus on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So these are the critical area coming under operation management. Any questions? No. Okay. 
So now you can uh, see the intermediaries, there are objectives connected with their operations, intermediate objective uh, that help to achieve main objectives. And intermediate objectives stand stated in the terms of machinery and equipment, and materials, equipment. manpower, supporting services. Mm. Okay. Operation management decisions. They are, they are strategic decisions. So whatever the company taking a decision, according to the decision, the operation should go. Okay. And mm. it's a technical decision. Focus on specific day, specific day-to-day -day issues like uh, resource needs, schedules, and quantity to produce. So you have to understand some technical decisions on focusing special day-to-day -day mm. issues, right? Mm. The functions of operation personnel, forecasting the demand of the products, that is important, arranging for procurement of the required uh, factors of the production, and arranging for mm -hmm. the services such as maintenance, store keeping materials, and ignore inspections and quality control. So mm -hmm. inspection and quality control, very important. And also handling the man man uh, what do you call material management. The other things are also important. Okay? Yes. So up to now, any any anything to ask? Any questions? No, no, no. Up to now, I'm okay. Okay. So I think uh, how many slides now? Now uh, forty six. Uh, there are a few slides. Slides. Okay. Functions of operational personnel utilizing uh, effectively the factors of production and service facilities available to produce the product. Yeah. The products. Yes. Yeah. Scope of the operation management. The op uh, scope of the operations of management depends on the decision, strategic decision and tactical decision. Strategic mm -hmm. level of decisions are new product identifications, new product and design. Yeah. Then uh, these are the area you have to focus. Yeah. Hmm. Strategic level decisions, new product identification, decision, then design and process design, planning, facility location and layout planning, and design of the materials handling system and capacity planning. So capacity I will planning. yeah, I will discuss uh, in detail, not here in the operation. You have to understand this. Okay. Yes, please. So tacticals are connected with the production planning and product control. And operation management framework is connected with five P's. What are the five P's? You have to remember this, huh? Operation management product, is connected with the plan, five Product, plants. plan, plant, plant, huh? uh, product, plant, plant program, process, processes, and processes, people. People. So to make uh, a product, you need product. Yeah, you need plant, you need program, you need process, and you know, you need. So if you, if you are going to make an operational business, you have to think about your people, you have to think about your product process and plan, mm. plant and also the product. Okay. So plant, uh, product, the product must have the performance, quality, reliability, aesthetic, and you know, ergonomics. The quantity should be selling, the quantity and the selling price, you have to understand the product. And uh, delivery schedule, you have to understand. And plant also, the plant accounts for major investment, the fixed asset is, because you are going to put so much money for the plant, right? Mm. Uh, but the plant is not going to give you money, right? It will be a place where the product uh, is going to be processed and finally mm. finalized, yeah? Mm. Plant is concerned with the design and layout of the building and offices. Reliability and maintenance of the equipment also important and safety operations also there. Mm. Plant layout must allow smooth movement of the men and material. Uh, the type of uh, layout depend on the production type 
and volume of the demands. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, this is what you have to remember, the layout. Kitchen, this is the McDonald's one, let's say. Right, mm. this is the manager's room and this is the freezer. So you have to take the order. Can you see this uh, layout, kitchen? I'm seeing, I'm seeing. Yeah, the, this is the manager's room and the front office. There will be, uh, uh, what do you call, lobby, family mm. and single. Mm -hmm. And this is the kitchen. So in the kitchen, you can see uh, there are store mm. and also freezer, cooler, and the production process. Everything should be there. Okay? Mm. Yes. So, uh, Product-wise, you know already. And the process wise, you have to identify the available capacity, manpower, skills, availability, and type, type of, of the production, the layout, layout of, of the plant, plant safety, yes. and maintenance required, and manufacturing cost. Everything should be considered. Mm. Program refers to the timetable production, like a purchasing, transforming, maintenance, cash, yes. storage, storage, and transport. Transportation. These are the program connected. The people are connected with their motivation if you motivate and train and mm. uh, yeah kind of like uh, conditions of the work and proper wages and salaries these are the area you have to focus on in your operations if you don't give mm. people salary then they are not going to work if you don't provide the safety and the healthy conditions of the work, working environment they will get sick and the training of the employee, if you don't give the training, people are going to perform what you expected. And the motivation, definitely, mm. you have to give motivation uh, in the people. And production system, mm. manufacturing sub, uh, subsystem that includes all functions required to design, produce, distribute, and service a manufactured product. So elements, you know, already uh, discussed. That's all. Okay. Okay, so I discussed one hour, right? It's almost one hour. So within one hour, I finish it. So any questions, okay. any doubt, I can end the session now. No, no, no. At least I've learned something about operation management today. So now you have the idea about operation management, no? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's an interesting subject, but it's also a difficult subject. If you don't understand, it's a difficult one. Now it's easy, right? You understood? It's easy, but it's yeah. tricky. Yeah. So basically, you, the input process output. Uh, the manager is going to manage the input also and also output also. He has to make some controlling in the process. Input That's and output and managing it effectively and efficiently. Yeah, correct. Okay, thank you, uh, Nina. Thank you for your participation. So we can have one more class. Uh, we have to think about the other day. Uh, 